What's up, everybody? It's your favorite chef, Billy Parisi. Wait, who? Oh, Billy! I figured we'd do a lot less of this and a whole lot of this. And of course, we need to do a little bit of that because I need to show you how to cook and stuff. And because I'm so sick of pumpkin, it's in absolutely everything. Pumpkin pasta, pumpkin lasagna, pumpkin cars, pumpkin cookies, pumpkin houses, pumpkin muffins. I figured we'd make some pumpkin hot chocolate, so uh, let's get to it. Hey, we need to make some whipped cream, and it's way too easy to do it in a standing mixer, so I figured we'd whisk it by hand. Because I'm feeling extra bougie today, I decided to put cream in this glass for no good reason at all. So uh, we're just gonna add it up to a bowl. I'm gonna put in a little bit of sugar, and we are literally gonna whisk this thing until our arms are numb or stiff peaks. It hurts, it hurts. God. Esther! Gosh, this is terrible. Uh. <sighs> Done. And perfect stiff peaks. We're gonna set it to the side. We don't need to cool it because honestly, this chocolate pumpkin cocoa thing we're about to make is only gonna take a few minutes. So just put it in the side. Uh, so let's get cracking on that thing and let's cut up some chocolate. Yes, my knife is fancy. We're not gonna use the entire block if that's what you're asking because, well, we wanna taste some pumpkin too. So we're gonna put it in a pan. The next thing we're gonna do is add in a little bit of cream to kind of get this together, almost like a ganache. Ganache. And then hit it with a bit more sugar to sweeten it up because this chocolate is bittersweet. Let's cook it on the burner. We're gonna cook this over medium heat. We just kind of want the chocolate to melt to make the Ganache, ganache. Don't worry, you're not gonna whisk this too crazy. We just wanna get the chocolate melted. So nice and chocolatey. Just keep the chocolate warm over low heat. The next thing we need to do is split open this vanilla bean. Now we're gonna add this to our ganache with uh, this pumpkin puree stuff. Dude. Stuff straight up looks like baby food. And then last but not least, we're gonna add milk from another bougie container. Seriously, cannot believe I have two of these things. Okay, just kidding. It's just looking so nice and chocolatey. -a. Just really wanna whisk this until it gets warm. Why when you're stirring, you always stand like this? You do it too. Okay, now that the hot chocolate is hot, we're gonna run it through this chinois. Chinois. Fine mesh strainer thing to kind of get all the pumpkin stuff out of there. Okay, now what we wanna do is pour it into our mugs. These little clear mugs we've got. Kinda of cool, I guess. And just gonna top it off a little bit. And next, we're gonna place the malo on the hot chocolate and give it a little bit of that fire. Oh, so toasty. Does smell good though, seriously. I'm gonna add on a little bit of that whipped cream. And next, some pumpkin spice. Spice. And uh, to make this extra elegant, we're gonna add on a little bit of shaved chocolate and a cinnamon stick. And now we slurp. It is tasty. Man, that's all I got for today. I can't move this camera anymore. Yeah, that's right, I did this all by myself. Hope you enjoyed it, I hope you had a good time. We'll hopefully keep this thing rolling so we'll catch up with you next week. Cheers.